Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this morning on Facebook, somebody posted this file or a picture of a JPEG and want to know how to create that. And it's gone out of hand. And I think I'll leave it up there a couple, a little while and then take it away. Uh, some people have been getting rude. You know, that's a so simple question. Well, that's what these Facebook pages on engraving are about. There's really nothing too simple. Everybody's just asking a question. So make a circle, go to your pen tool. There's three or four ways to do this. And then pick a dotted line. But the bad thing about this, whoop, the bad thing about this is not perfect. It, um, I didn't hit OK. You could even create create your own dotted line, and they're not going to be perfectly equal because it's it's going to start and stop wherever it wants or wherever it has to. And you can make these definitely smaller, and you could create your own dotted line. I've done a video on that. But to do something more precise, where these dots are all even, let's just draw a circle. Hit P on the keyboard. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and grab it from this corner and bring in a... I didn't make a duplicate. So this time I'm going to go outward. And what that does, it um, makes it from the center. Then I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. And since you're doing both these lines... You can just double click on it and rotate it five degrees. Now I'm going to rotate this one. I'm going to make a duplicate. This time I'm just going to mirror it because it's going to mirror it five degrees. Now I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to fill this in. So we've got 10 degrees. Click on that item, control D and make a duplicate. And there's, since you're already right here, uh, there's another way to do this, but we're just going to rotate it 20 degrees. And then Corel will do that sometime. And just go all the way around. Now you can do this. And we don't need these lines anymore. You can do this. So you double clicked on it and the rotation is in the center. Come on. A lot of times on something that small, if you... Don't click on that X. That's why I use indexing lines, just so I can see whether it's in the center. And it is. Then you can go to effects. Uh, go to arrange and transform and open up rotation docker. And we want 18 copies at 20 degrees. Hit apply. Take away your... I'm going to get rid of that left click no outline so now you have your dashes equally spaced apart and this has more so you know you can figure out the degrees so anyway i hope that answered the question and, and uh, hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching